This is a quick introduction to Mosul Class Manager. If you'll click on the N on your dock, you expand your screen and it will take you into your class manager and also your kiosk. When you click your class, you'll have an opportunity to work through the different options in Class Manager. But our focus today is going to be on study apps. You want to check your students and make sure you've selected any absent students so you're only working with active students and then you can start your class. Once the class has been started you'll see the active students. Again you can check your absent and your uh, active students there on that screen. Our focus is on study apps. This is where we can hide apps or install apps. I want to hide all the apps except for a few certain apps. So I'm going to add an app and I'm going to start with my native apps first because I want the students to have Safari. So Safari is a native app. I'll select that. And then I think I need to make sure that their Content Keeper filter is working. So I'm going to go to our Mosul token and find the CK Auth app for Content Keeper to make sure the filtering is working correctly and add that. And then I think I'll probably also add the Canvas app. Again, it's in our token. It's not a native app. So I'll go search for Canvas and then add the Canvas app to my study apps. So this should hide all the apps except for these three on the student devices. So I'm going to go back over to my study apps. I'm going to flip on the study apps screen. It will take a little bit of time, sometimes 30 to 40 seconds. And here's a student device. When we flip on the study apps, you'll see the screen changes a little bit. And then you'll see Canvas, uh, CK Auth, and Safari. But you'll also notice that um, there's a lot of web clips there. So you won't be able to remove the web clips, but you'll notice all the other applications are gone, except for Canvas, CK Auth, and Safari. Let's say that you actually want to install an app that the students don't have on their device, but we have already purchased through the App Store. You can also click on Add an App, and this time I'm going to search for Google Sheets in our token, and so I'll type in for Sheets and select that, and add that to my study apps. Now when I actually turn the study apps back on, this application will be pushed to all the student devices that are in the class that I have started. So here's a student device and again it takes 30 seconds to a minute but you'll notice that the application Google Sheets is now installing. I didn't have to put in a ticket or reach out for a tech. You can actually install applications to your student devices in your classroom. Once you're finished with study apps you'll want to make sure that you can turn them off and then after you turn off the study apps you'll also want to make sure that you end the class. Anytime you're done with Mosul Class Manager go ahead and end the class. You can set the class time when you start but it's just good practice to hit end class. And that's using study apps with Mosul Class Manager.